After our high today of 60 degrees, we wait on a cold front tonight. Ahead of that cold front, the atmosphere squeezed out a little moisture. I mean, there's not much there. Most of it was just some light rain, but a few flakes, as we just showed you, mix in. And the radar trying to show us maybe a couple flakes just north of Goldsboro down in Wayne County. Remember, on most days, most nights, it's much colder the higher you go up in the clouds. Well, it was cold enough tonight to maybe turn a little bit of that light rain to snow, and it got to the ground fast enough where it didn't melt. Obviously, it melted on contact because it was 60 today. It will not be 60 tomorrow, and one of the reasons why, the cold front's moving through, and the winds with that cold front are gonna be howling out of the northwest. They're gonna be breezy too. So we've gotta talk about a wind chill from 60 to snowflakes to wind chill, all in a day's work around here in Central North Carolina. So our temperatures start off around 29 tomorrow, but with the wind northwest 10 to 20, it's gonna feel like 20 to 25 degrees. Now listen, there's gonna be a lot of sunshine tomorrow, but our highs are only going to make 44. And we start off this third full week of December with not a super sunset, but a super sunrise. We're going all the way to the east coast of Japan. That's about 7,000 miles away from us here in central North Carolina. Scott was there last month. This is south of Tokyo. Just an amazing shot. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page just as soon as I'm done here. Back to our side of the world, and there's the cold front getting ready to move through. There's the northwest winds behind it that are going to make things cold. So in the next hour or so, the little bit of rain we do have will move out. So here we are from midnight to about 3 in the morning, that front coming through. You might hear a little wind overnight, so it's going to be a windy overnight and a breezy day tomorrow. But from 6 a.m. through lunchtime through the afternoon, not a cloud in the sky but no 60s either as our temperatures will stay chilly during the day and in the morning. When you left for work and school this morning, it was 53 degrees. It's not going to be that the next few mornings. Our coldest morning will be Wednesday, one of the coldest of the season so far, 24 degrees. And like I said, even though temperature is going to be around 30 tomorrow morning, that wind's going to make it feel like this. The wind chill graphic is back. Teens possible along the Virginia border. Low 20s here in the Triangle, mid 20s down in the Sand Hills. But by the afternoon with sunny skies and breezy conditions, it'll be a cool day, some 10 degrees below average for this time of year, including 45 tomorrow afternoon in Fayetteville. Along the I-95 corridor, mid to low 40s Tuesday afternoon, sunny but breezy, and we'll struggle to get up to 40 along the Virginia border. So from around 60 to some 15 degrees colder tomorrow with a high of 44, 48 Wednesday, we're back into the 50s for the first day of winter Thursday, and we stay dry and in the 50s through the weekend, and wouldn't you know it, just in time for Santa, that's when rain comes back next Monday. The chances get better next Tuesday and Wednesday, but it is going to be rain. Look at those highs around 60 degrees.